This is Colin O'Keefe here again for LXBN TV. Today we're taking another look at drones, but this time discussing the possibility that they could pose a threat to the protection of trade secrets. Joining me now to share his thoughts on this matter is attorney Josh Salinas. He is with Cypher Shaw, an author on the firm's blog, Trading Secrets. Josh, can you walk us through how, how this crossed your mind? What is the potential threat of drones uh, to these protected trade secrets? Uh, thanks, Kyle. Well, we've seen um, drones, these um, unmanned aerial vehicles, have, have become a lot you know, smaller and a lot more affordable and are becoming more akin to you know, radio-controlled airplanes. Um, the threat is it makes it a lot easier for, for, for people, for competitors, to have this extra surveillance, this extra ability to see uh, potential you know, information that's out there. Um, we've seen, I know with the ongoing World Cup, uh, there were some allegations that um, by the French national team that there was a, uh, a drone that was purportedly hovering over their practices and um, they, they argue that it was being used to look at their, their strategies or their practices before the upcoming match. Um, and while there's an argument whether they have you know, trade secrets in their plays or not, uh, it, just, it just shows that, that companies could be using this technology to see, um, you know, to gain a competitive advantage with their competitors. Um, there has been a recent case within the last year. It didn't involve drones, but it was a trade secret case coming out of California, and the court um, acknowledged the argument that the, a company who had um, a, a customer list that it argued was a trade secret um, may have lost the secrecy in that customer list because when it was servicing those customers, its its trucks were marked with the company's name. And so the court was, was acknowledging that the, those customers may not be a secret anymore because you know, the public can see you know, this company's this name on the trucks and it's becoming you know publicly available information. And so with the, the risk of drones, you have competitors who are always you know, trying to gain a competitive advantage that could be using you know these devices to to, to, to maybe spy on their competitors of uh, you know what customers they're servicing or or maybe plants that they're building. Um, and there was there was also a recent case or uh, not a recent case but a case that came out uh, in uh, about 30 years ago. Um, and it involved um, aerial photography, and there was a, a company that was uh, trying to build a, a plant uh, to um, to build methanol, and uh, somebody had uh, s uh, flew a plane overhead and started taking photographs of that construction process, and then sold that uh, to another competitor. And the the company who was building that plant argued that you know, those trade secrets, those those photographs of their plant, uh, had been stolen, had been misappropriated, and the court said that that the efforts to take those photographs um, could constitute a, a misappropriation of trade secrets. And so um, it's, it's a narrow circumstance, and in that case, you know, is, is 30 years old. Um, it, it does show that both, you know, companies do have the, the susceptibility to trade secrets when their information is out in the open, um, but also um, that, you know, it, it's potential for competitors to take that information. Definitely, definitely. So is there any action that companies should be taking right now? Of course, you don't want uh, to, to put a guy out there trying to shoot drones down or something like that, but uh, is there anything that they should be doing now? What level of awareness should companies have uh, with regards to drones and trade secrets? Well, it goes to uh, one of the, the critical elements to having a trade secret is your reasonable efforts to maintain secrecy. And we've seen in the past with technology, with, you know, for example, with social media, that you know, new technology is you know, changing you know, how we view what is reasonable, what efforts are reasonable to protect your information. And you know, most courts have acknowledged that you don't have to have this absolute secrecy. You don't have to have this you know, impenetrable for, uh, fortress or you know, have everything you know, completely hidden from, from view. Um, you know, obviously, the, the more you can keep out of the public's eye, the, you know, the more you can keep you know, either under your, under your own roof, um, locked away, or in databases that have password protections, uh, the better. Um, in the context of these drones, it, it just reminds us that, you know, what your reasonable efforts are, um, are going to be changing with advanced technology. So companies need to reevaluate, um, you know, if they are in a, you know, a remote area and they think that nobody's around, nobody's going to see maybe these, this, these developments or these products or, or any of their secret information, um, you know, now with these these new drones, it's you know a lot more easier for for somebody to fly fly a device over there and see. So um, what companies can also do is you know with physical measures of you know keeping stuff um, you know out of the view of the public and keeping those who have needed no access um, 
you know, and always with uh, if you have, you know, visitors or third parties using confidentiality agreements, using non-disclosure agreements to make sure that if somebody does have access to your information, they're not going to be using that or disclosing that later on. Definitely, definitely. You really have to be uh, aware of these types of things nowadays. As you mentioned, it's really uh, an anecdote for how, how changing technology is constantly posing a threat to, to keeping these trade secrets protected. Uh, once again, that was attorney Josh Salinas of Cypher Shaw. For more of his insight and analysis on the trade secret space, be sure to visit tradesecretslaw.com. Thanks for joining me today, Josh. All right, thanks, Colin.